All right, AMC 10A problem number 20. So uh, a arithmetic sequence is like a a plus d, a plus 2d, and a a plus 3d, etc. And a geometric sequence can be like b, b times r, b times r squared, and b times r cubed. Now what the question is asking us is that it's saying the first term of arithmetic sequence and the first term of geometric sequence is 57. The second terms add to 60, and the third terms add to 91. So it's asking us, and the question asks us, what will the fourth term added be equal to? So that's basically it. So let's just solve this question. So let's do this equation minus this equation and this equation minus that equation. So we will get d plus br minus b equals 3. And then this will be d plus br squared minus br equals 31. So let's simplify this a bit. This could be written as d plus b times r minus 1 equals 3. This could be written as d plus b times r, um, r squared minus r equals 31. And this could be written as b times r um, times r minus 1. Okay. Now let's do this equation minus this equation to get um, br r minus 1 minus b times r minus 1 equals 28. Let's simplify this a bit. So this will be, um, we can move the b out. So we can move the b and the r minus 1. We can actually um, do like this. Let's move the r minus, r minus 1 out first. So we have br minus b. This equals r minus 1 times uh, b times r minus 1, which is equal to r minus 1 squared b equals 28. And 28 could be rewritten as, let me change colors here, uh, 1 times 28 or 4 times 7. So if we let r minus 1 squared equal to... Um, Let's, 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 let's think about this a bit. Uh, we just play around with the numbers a bit. And after we play around with the numbers a bit, we have to see, uh, we could find out what R is, what B is, and plug it back into our equations to get what A is and we'll get what D is. So let's first, um, let's first try this. Let's first set, uh, let's perhaps first set B to be seven. So if we set B to be seven, then that's R minus one squared has to be equal to four. So r has to be equal to 3. Okay, so if we set b equals 7, then r has to be equal to 3. Now, if you look back into this equation, let's find out what d is. So d plus b times r, 21 minus 7 equals 3. So d plus uh, 14 equals 3. So d will be negative 11. And a, a will be 57 minus b, which will be 50. So if we plug all these numbers that we got back into this equation right here what will we get we will get 50 plus uh minus sorry minus 33 plus um seven times three cubed is 27 that will give us 17 plus um 189 which will get us 206 so answer choice e but the thing is um <coughs> You have to be careful of when you're playing around the numbers here, here. When you're playing around the numbers here, um, after you find out what A, B, D, and R to be, you have to plug these numbers, so A and D, for example, back into here, back into here, and see if it satisfies a, as a arithmetic sequence. And then you have to look, um, plug in B and R that you got here, into this sequence and see if it satisfies as a geometric sequence. And if it does, if it does satisfy that uh, arithmetic sequence and geometric sequence, then we know it's valid. So if we play around the numbers a bit, you will find that this configuration of numbers is the only one that is valid. So we would get answer choice E.